obviously we didn't play like we uh, wanted to play and expected to play. Our third top 10 team that we've played this year. And, uh, you know, I was out there and I was like, you know, we got a ways to go. We got a little ways to go, um, regardless of the adversity and all of that. But, you know, you, you see what um, teams in the top 10, what they look like, how they play. And, uh, and, and, and so I, I look back, I look, and I know what our teams have looked like before when we were a top 10 team. So we have to get back to that. I know what it looks like and how, and how it performs and how they lead one another. And so um, that's, that's what you're seeing the results of. Our guys are still competing. They're still playing hard and, and all those things. But there is another level to this thing. And um, we, can, we can get there. We can get there uh, in a lot of ways with some of the guys that are coming back they'll be able to reflect back on. I told the guys in there, you know, you'll be able to, you know, now you know what uh, Washington, Michigan, Ohio State, how those guys compete, how they look, and all that, and how they execute and do everything uh, that they do on the football field. So every time you're in the offseason working out, you need to think about those games. You need to think about those people so you're ready to perform uh, at that same type of level uh, next year when the, when the thing comes around. You can, you can to a certain extent. I mean, we, we still don't have everybody that we had even back in the Washington game, but we have most most of the guys, uh, injuries and things like that. But absolutely, you can as we watch the film, you know, because the naked eye sometimes you don't catch everything, and and the film has a lot of detail in it that you miss just to the naked eye. So I'll be able to answer that even better on possibly Monday after watching all the film to see where we have improved and done things better compared to you know the previous two top ten team games. Yeah, right now um, we're looking to go with Kaden all the way, and uh, and Sam is trying to preserve the red shirt. Uh, not some you know major happens, you know what I mean. But that's what we're trying to do. Oh, he's he's a tough match matchup. He's a, he's one of the best receivers in the country. I mean, and so we knew that. Um, wish we'd have, you know, still did some things better. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we didn't, we didn't want to just give him up some of the things that he did get. But uh, and then Dylan Tatum, uh, he, he's he's gonna probably be out for the rest of the year uh, with his injury. Um, but you know, he'll be back strong uh, next year for sure. You mentioned that you played three of the top five. How good is Ohio State? They're good. They're they're a good team. Um, all three of those teams are good teams, uh, and so. It was a great experience. Um, it'd be interesting to see how this thing all works out when it's all said and done, uh, as far as you know, playoffs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but they're, they're a good team. I just saw us stalling out. Like we could, we could get some nice runs, and then we try to do, we do some nice plays, and all of a sudden, you know, we take like. Two steps forward, two steps forward, and three steps backwards. It felt like that a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, but we were running the ball fairly effectively, I thought. Um, we just we just couldn't sustain drives, and then ultimately you want to get in the end zone and score touchdowns, and we weren't able to do that. And so that, that that's disappointing. But uh, our guys just kept working and still tried to you know make it happen. That's, that's a good question, Maddie. Um, you know, <laughs> what, what you see a lot of times, like I said, when you watch, end up watching the film and you're watching the details of it, you, it's a lot of, like we can show you guys, it's a lot of, man, that one guy. It's really be like one guy, sometimes two guys not doing just what they were supposed to do, and that could have broke for this. This could have, but. So then you ask yourself, well, why, aren't, why is it always one guy? Why can't? And that's what you try to coach up and, and get better at, where all 11 are executing. I always say, if all 11 execute, and guys have heard me say this before, all 11 execute, you have a chance to win that play, that series, that, you know, that, 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 uh, that half, that quarter, and all that. But 
If all 11, it only take one guy to mess up. You know, man, oh, I see what you're talking about. That was there. It was well designed. One guy missed this assignment and it didn't work. And so uh, you got to coach those guys uh, to to almost to perfection. You're trying to coach them to perfection. We know nobody's perfect, but as a coach, you're trying to coach them to perfection. So when that one guy mess up or doesn't mess up or whatever it may be, as a coach, you should say, take pride in my guy. It ain't going to be my one guy. That I'm not going to be the one guy. My guy is not going to be the guy that messes up and doesn't execute his assignment. And you got to stay on him about that or get a guy in that can get the job done. They push through well. I told them just keep going out there and compete. Take it one play at a time. Just one play at a time. Uh, and, 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 and just try to build upon that and get better. Focus on getting better. You're still playing the game of football, and you have an opportunity to get better. So just keep working on it one play at a time and get better. Execute. Do your job. All those things. And uh, and let's just see what happens. Um, and, that's, and that's how I said, we go, when we kick the field goal, I said, hey, we're going to start walking. We're going to walk them down. I'm trying to always encourage. I said, I told you all that before. I'm an encourager, so I'm always believing we can win some type of way all the way to the end. So we're going to walk them down now. Let's go walk them down. We gave them 21-3. Let's go walk them down. Um, so um, that's just a mindset, and I think our guys have bought into that to a certain extent. They weren't. They probably were stunned a little bit initially, and then they're like, okay, let's go. They like shake it off, keep playing, keep playing. And we, again, just have to sustain drives, have to execute better on a, on a consistent basis that allow us to get in the end zone and, and make stops when we need to make stops. Right. So, so the, if you remember the whole thing, it was three things I kept saying. You know, was November is for contenders, and we were contending for four and zero, a bowl game, and personal pride. So now we there's the personal pride part. You guys should go out there and compete um, and try to get better uh, throughout the course of the week of practice, and then when we go out there and play Indiana and Penn State. So now you, you're competing and you're, you're contending for personal pride, just pride in your performance. Uh, you, you know, so that's that's the mindset. Uh, that the guys should have. They're still playing the game that they love, okay? And if, if you love it like that, you love just going out there to compete and play it. With, um, you said the goal is obviously Sam Payton and, and, and Sam to keep his red shirt. Is, just, so is it Andrew being number two moving forward, and is there any chance Noah uh, is healthy enough to see that? It'll be, it'll be Andrew as number two moving forward, and uh, Noah is, we'll see. We'll see. I can't say yes or no right now. We'll see on, we'll see on him. I haven't had a chance to say anything to him yet, but I will. Chance is going to be a really, really good football player. Um, he, he, he's, he's going to be really good. So it's just it's a learning lesson for him, you know. Um, uh, he's already started more games. So I, I reflect back on Darquez Zanard. He started two games as a true freshman, and that's because Chris Rucker was out. That's crazy. I remember that, but that 2010. But he was he was he was, and so he started two games, and then he started for three straight years, and we saw him get better and better and better till he was a Thorpe Award winner and a first round pick. So Chance has that type of ability as he continues to get stronger, uh, 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 faster, bigger, all those things. He'll get better and better, and uh, I think he's going to be an excellent player at the, at the end of the day. It was, it was a minor injury. He, he should be fine. Nick should be fine. Um, um, he, he's, he's a competitor. He brings energy every day. Like you say, he's an Ohio guy, so that's always been a big deal for us at Michigan State, even back when I played. Um, you know, Ohio guys trying to come to uh, Ohio State and get a win, or even when they came to us, we're, we're trying to win. You know, we I played with Travis Davis. We came here in '87. Travis had five sacks. You know, he's Ohio guy. Percy Snow, Ohio guy. Myself, Ohio guy. So we we took pride in playing against these guys and beating these guys. And uh, and so and then since I've been a coach, recruited a lot of guys from Ohio. And uh, whenever we 
would come down here and play or they or they came up to play us was always talking about you know how you know we want to beat these guys cuz we're from Ohio and you know and, and and everybody on the team would always try to be fired up for them cuz we were always fired up to try to beat Michigan for the Michigan guys so the Michigan guys were fired up for the Ohio guys when we tried to play Ohio beat Ohio State so it was always a, a very very uh important deal to try to do that We felt great about it. it. It was all about getting the extra possession for our offense. Uh, you would try to get the, get them the ball as many times as you can, so you can score. You know, try to get scores and touchdowns ultimately. And so it's just about getting the extra possession. We we saw on film that it's something that would work and could work, and it did. And um, so it's a great execution by our punt team. Thanks.